Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Hawa Shai, Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Hawa Shai, Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Hawa Shai. Blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, And blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior. Now, Thamash Nakabala is a common Shara double honors to the elders of Israel, being the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, that rule well. Shalom, Wahab, Labach, Yashara, Sharala, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come back at your game with a lesson, Baha'u'l Chakra, Shah, Amaf, and the Holy Spirit of Truth. The title of this video is going to be something along the lines of Justice Will Be Served. Justice Will will be served all right the lord's not going to allow this devil to get away with any of his wickedness the lord's not going to allow uh um none of his the wicked of his people get away with none of this wickedness man okay our individual enemies man that that uh mistreat us that uh, uh wrongly uh, uh, uh persecute us that falsely accuse us okay justice will be served Okay, because in this society, you're not going to get no justice. In this society, you're not going to get right judgment because an unjust, wicked judge is ruling. All right, and he's not even supposed to be, he's not even a ruler. He's a peasant. All right, he's not, be, he's not supposed to be sitting in a place of judgment. Okay, this devil is supposed to be in chains taking orders from the Israelites, specifically the elect of the nation of Israel. Who's going to rule and reign with Yahweh Shai Mashiach in the world that's coming. That's being established right now as we speak in the book of Daniels. The second chapter says in the days of these kings shall the power of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. Okay. In the days of these kings being in this current rulership. All right. While these devils is still ruling. The Lord is setting up his kingdom. He's raising up his men. Okay. And those men is going to reign with him in righteousness. Let's start off with this in the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 32. Isaiah 32 in verse 1. It says, Behold, a king shall reign in righteousness and princes shall rule in judgment. A king, that king being Yahweh Shai, he's going to reign in righteousness. He will reign in righteousness. And princes being the elect, all right? Uh, 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 starting with King David on down, it's Yahweh Shai, King David, and the, and the rest of the 144,000 men, okay, is going to reign with him in righteousness. In the book of Second Peter, this is Second Peter chapter 3 and verse 10. But the, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. All right. Shall be burnt up. This The, the ways of this place is going to get torched. All right. The ways of this place, okay, is going to get scorched. It's not going to be um, uh, child support. Okay. And uh, um, you're... you're, you're the, mo the mother having full custody of children. All that is going to get. That's all that is false judgment. All that is injustice. And all that's going to get smoked in the law. It says if a woman want to leave. She can leave. But she's leaving with nothing. Okay. She's leaving with nothing. Alright. Not taking the kids. Not getting alimony. Not getting uh, um, uh, child support. All that's going to be done away with, man. And we're not going to need that in the kingdom anyway. At least not for the Israelites. <laughs> okay. We could. Well, really, we're going to rule and judge. We're going to rule justly. Even when we get payback upon Esau, Edom. And when we get payback on these other nations, it's all going to be done in justice. It's all going to be done in righteousness. Okay. Our families in the kingdom, the Israelite family structure will be restored. All right, the, the, the man won't be at odds with the woman. OK, everything is going to be harmonious. All right. But this is Second Peter, chapter three and verse 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of persons ought she to be in all holy conversation and godliness looking for. Right. Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Lord. Wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat via intercontinental ballistic missiles. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth 
wherein dwelleth righteousness. All right. That's what the Lord is establishing right now. Okay. A new heaven, a new rulership, a kingdom where, uh, 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 where righteousness dwelleth, man. Okay. Unlike this wicked evil society where uh, a wicked, where wicked is, uh, uh, wickedness is, um, wickedness dwelleth, Salakia. This is Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 10. Let favor be shown to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. And that's who's ruling. The wicked is ruling. Okay? He has the whole earth. Fa favor been shown to this nigga. He has the whole earth. Alright? He has the whole earth and look how he's ruling the earth. Unjustly. Look how he's ruling the earth. Wickedly. Right? It says, Yet he will not learn righteousness. In the land of uprightness will he deal unjustly. He's in our land. He's in the holy land. And look how he's dealing. Okay? Look how they living out there in the holy land, man. Unjustly. Okay? Ungodly. It says, And will not behold the majesty of the Lord. So let's go from there to the book of Habakkuk, chapter 1, and verse 4. It says, Therefore the law is slacked, and judgment doeth never go forth. For the wicked doeth compass about the righteous, the wicked's in rulership, right? Therefore, they're on top. Therefore, wrong judgment proceedeth. Therefore, wrong judgment proceedeth, man. Okay? Proper judgment doesn't go forth. Let's read that in another translation. Uh, Habakkuk chapter 1 and 4 in the NLT. It says, the law has become paralyzed and there is no justice in the courts. You go into these court systems, they're not looking they're not, they're not going to judge justly. If they were judging justly, they'd be judging out of the Bible. They'd be judging out of the law of the Lord, of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. But instead, they go into their own law books, okay? They got, first of all, you go in there and there's a, there's a woman that's a judge, all right? She, there's, a, there's a woman judge, all right? And she's, she's, she could be on her menstrual, PMSing, all right? Got a whole attitude problem, okay? Pushing forth... Or a, a false judgment. When we read throughout the book of Judges, where the Lord was setting up judges, okay, what, what did you see taking place? Or, or, or who who was the judges? It was men, okay. When the Lord sets up rulers, he set he sets up men, okay. But now you got a uh, uh, women. You got uh, the first black woman as a supreme. I believe she's a Supreme Court judge. And they asked her, "Do you know what a woman is?" She couldn't even answer that. But she's a judge, okay. That's wrong judgment proceeding. All right. Oh, oh the, the lawyers in the ancient days, which is who? The, uh, 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 the men of the tribe of Levi. All right. The priest, they were all men. OK. The Lord set up Moses to judge the people, not Miriam. OK, this is Habakkuk chapter one and verse four. Uh, in the NLT, it says, the law has become paralyzed and there is no justice in the courts. The wicked far outnumber the righteous, which really, really the uh, Esau, Edom, he, his numbers is dwindling. All right. He has a, his death rate is higher than his birth rate. Okay. If this were to continue on, his ass would, would be wiped out, man. Okay. Which is, which is what's going to happen eventually after he serves. That's a part of the judgment. That's a part of justice being served. This devil got to go into captivity. Revelation 13, I don't even got to get it. He that leadeth, he that hath the ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. This is the patience and the faith of the saints. Okay? This is what we patiently waiting for. Justice to be served. This devil, all right, to get, uh, for this devil to be paid back. For all the wickedness and all the atrocities that he has done to the apple of the Lord's eye. It says in the book of 2 Thessalonians, the first chapter, the sixth verse, it says, It is a righteous thing with the Heavenly Father to recompense tribulation to them that trouble thee. It's a right thing. It's a just thing. All right. For the Lord to pay back, to serve justice. All right. For his people, for his chosen people, starting with the elect. Each and every, I don't want rot desire be of that number. Each and one, every one of us individually, justice is going to be served. Okay? Wickedness cannot prevail. Alright? Lies, 
Slander cannot get the victory. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is a just God. Uh, you had that one. Um, it was a president. I tremble for my country. Thomas Jefferson, right? This is a Thomas Jefferson quote. He said, Indeed, I tremble for my country when I reflect. Uh, let's lock it. Indeed, I tremble for my country when reflect that God is just, that his justice cannot sleep forever. This is Thomas Jefferson, right? A Edomite, okay? And he said he trembled for his country. Why? Because they was persecuting God's chosen people. Because they enslaved God's chosen people. That's why he's trembling, right? Indeed, I tremble for my country when reflect that God is just. That his justice cannot sleep forever. It says in the book of Nahum. Lord's will, I'm going to just read it. Actually, I'll read it right now. This is Nahum, chapter 1 and verse 2. It says, Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai is jealous, and the Lord revengeth. The Lord revengeth and is furious, and the Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries, man. Let's look up that word, vengeance. This is the word vengeance on online etymology dictionary. Revenge. Ret retribution. To avenge. Alright, so it says revenge. One of the definitions is retribution. So let's look up that word retribution. See what it says. Retribution, repayment, right? Uh, the root word is tribute, right? Which is payment. So to pay back, all right? Recompense, repayment, hand back, okay? So it says, and his, uh, it says, the Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries. He's going to pay back his adversaries, man. And his, our adversary, his adversaries are our adversaries and our adversaries are are his adversaries, our personal adversaries, our personal enemies. So coming up against the Lord's uh, hopeful elect is coming up against the Lord, man. Okay? Being an enemy, being an adversary to the Lord's hopeful elect is being an enemy. And you become an enemy and an adversary to the most high power that created all things seen and unseen. Alright? It says, And he reserveth wrath for his enemies. Okay? Again, our enemies are his enemies. So all of our enemies, everyone that's coming up against us, man. Okay? There's wrath reserved for you. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai will take vengeance. Okay? It says, and the Lord is slow to anger. We just, we just going to sit back and patiently wait for it. Knowing that it will take place uh, uh, eventually. Sooner rather than later. Because we in a time of judgment. We in a time of justice being served. Vengeance being taken. We in a time of retribution. Okay? It says, The Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. Not, you're not going to get away with that wicked shit. Okay? Started with Esau, Edom, our biggest enemy. You're not going to get away with the wicked shit that you're doing. These other nations, you're not going to get away with what you did to Jerusalem. Alright? The personal enemies of the hopeful elect, you're not going to get away with fucking with the Lord's servants. You're not going to get away, all right, with, with, with the slander that you, look at, look at, look at Polite. Look at, look what happened to Polite, man. Okay? The Lord will, will serve, you will be served, all right? You will, each and every one of you will be served, all right? It says, the Lord have his way, it says, it says, it's like it, Nahum 1 and 3, the Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. The Lord hath his way in the whirlwind and in the storm and the clouds are the dust of his feet. 
All right, that's it on that. Back in, um, I'll finish that quote. Thomas Jefferson, right? <clears throat> it says, Indeed, I tremble for my country when reflect that, that God is just, that his justice cannot sleep forever. He will not at all acquit the wicked, right? There's another scripture. His justice will, will not at all, it's like it cannot uh, sleep forever. Because right now the Lord's allowing this devil, I, I don't want to say to get away with certain things. He just letting him build it up. Lord, because he can't, he will not at all quit the wicked. He's not letting him get away with nothing. You're not going to get away with not one uh, 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 sin, not one transgression that you have done. Okay? The Lord's just letting it pile up and pile up. So when he does bring that great justice upon your ass, okay, it's going to be well deserved. All right? And you're going to get the... Just like they say, like in the courts, man, they throw the book at you. They trying to give you the highest charge. That's exactly what you're going to get, man. Okay. There's a scripture I was just about to go to. Um, I just quoted Ecclesiastes. I think that was the one I was going to. In Ecclesiastes, it says, uh, though sentence against the evil work be not executed speedily. The hearts of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Okay. It's fully set in them to do evil. The scripture I was going to is in Psalms. Psalms 82, Psalms 82 and verse 2. How long will ye judge unjustly? This is a Psalm of Asaph. How long will ye judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked? So the Lord doesn't judge unjustly, but he, he allowed, right now he's allowing the unjust to rule. He's given power, he's given the earth to the unjust. All right? But soon, let's just continue to read verse 3. Defend the poor and fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and needy. The Lord's going to do justice, man. The Lord's going to bring this devil down. And he's going to pay him back for all his, just un his, for all his unjust deeds. Okay? It says, deliver the poor and needy. Rid them out of the hand of the wicked, man. He's going he's gonna to deliver us. Alright? He's going to save us. Alright? From this treacherous... Violent man. It says, uh, going back to the quote, that considering numbers, nature, and natural means only a revolution of the wheel of fortune and exchange of situation is among possible events that it may become probable by supernatural interference. And the Lord is about to come, supernatural divine, the Lord is about to divinely intervene. All right? The, the Lord is, div he's actually already divinely intervene, uh, intervening. Okay? The Lord is in control over everything that's taking place. The, this is the more accurate quote. It says, I tremble for my country when I reflect that God is just. That his justice cannot sleep forever. Okay? He will do justice for the poor, as we just read. Okay? Um, let's go from there. Since we're in Psalms. Psalms 119. Psalms 119 and 126. Psalms 119 and verse 126. It says, It is time for thee, Yahweh, by Shami Shai, to work. For they have made void thy law. All right. And making void the law means what? Not, there's no there's no justice in this world. There's no justice in this place, man. Okay. True judgment. The true, true justice. All right. And judgment is through is through the Lord's law. All right. It says. Therefore, I love thy commandments above gold. Yea, above fine gold. Therefore, I esteem all thy precepts concerning all things to be right. And I hate every false way. This is the right way. All these precepts. Th this is what is correct. All right. I esteem all thy precepts concerning all things in every matter. This is what's right. This is what needs to be enforced on the planet Earth. 
once the once the ways of the Bible, okay, is enforced, the whole everything is gonna be that's gonna clean the earth up. This is Jeremiah. That's the answer to everything. The ways of the Bible being enforced. This is Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 16. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Stand ye in the ways and see, and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? And walk therein. This is the good way. Alright? Uh, 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 let me read that again. Thus saith the Lord, Power, stand ye in the ways and see, and ask for the old paths. The old paths... How we used to conduct ourselves, okay? Which is what? By the covenant, by what's written, by the law, statutes, and commandments, by these precepts. That's the good way. Not this new modern shit. Okay? The, the, only in this society, only in this society you got something called co-parenting. Only in this society you have something called single mother households. You didn't have none of that shit in ancient civilizations. Okay? You didn't have that, that baby mama shit. Okay? Going on in ancient civilizations. Okay? Even amongst these heathens. When they was ruling. That's a new thing. Where this bitch thinks she can run a house on her own. Why? Because the devil is ruling. And he uplifts the woman. And he puts her in a position that she cannot maintain. That's wrong judgment. Giving her power over the man. That, you go to these court systems. Right? And they'll instantly give no matter what the condition of The mom can be a goddamn crackhead stripper. Okay? But they still gonna show her favor in the courts. Why? Because of fucking... I wanna say the word. A F -A, a F -A G, man. Is ruling. Okay? A Bati boy is ruling. And he uplift this bitch. This shameless woman. Okay? That's what the word bitch means. Okay? He uplifts the shameless woman. It says folly is set in great dignity and the rich sit in a low place. But just but justice will be served. The Lord is gonna put everything back in its proper order. A new heaven and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness, wherein dwelleth justice. Jeremiah 6 and verse 16, it says, Thus saith the Lord, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? And walk therein and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, we will not walk therein. They don't want to walk in a good way. All right. They don't want to, they don't walk, want to walk in the old paths. Therefore, they're gonna get torched with this new, with this, with this, with the new ways. It says that the earth and the works there, there, that there, slacking the earth and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. So if you participate in, all right, in the works that are therein, in the ways of this world, then you're gonna, then you're gonna get burnt with it, man. You're gonna get melted with it. Okay. Let's go from there to Deuteronomy chapter thirty-two. Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 4. He is slacky. I'm going to start at verse... Um, I'll just start at 1. No, I'm going to start at... I'm going to go to the point. Verse 4 is the point. Deuteronomy 32 and 4. He is the rock. His work is perfect. For all his ways are judgment, a God of truth, and without iniquity, just and right is he. The Lord is just, right is he. He is always right. All his ways, all his judgments, they're all good. We just read it in Psalms, okay? All things uh, all, right, uh, all his precepts concerning all things are good, are right, are just. Okay? I want to read that in another translation. Uh, 
I'm in Jeremiah. Deuteronomy 32. Deuteronomy 32 and 4 in the NLT. It says he is the rock. His deeds are perfect. Everything he does is just and fair. He is just and fair, man. Okay? This place is unfair. Alright? This place is unfair. The laws that are set up, this system, is all unfair. It's all unjust. And it needs to be, and, and the Lord is going to smoke it. The Lord's going to burn it, just like ancient Sodom and Gomorrah. It says he is faith, he is a faithful God who does no wrong. How just and upright he is. How just and upright he is. So he will bring judgment. He will bring judgment for the nation and justice for the nation of Israel. Starting with his elect. Starting with his chosen people, man. All of everybody that persecuted us. Flip right to it. This is Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. And all thine adversaries, every one of them, all of our adversaries, man. Okay, shall go into captivity. All meaning what well, all these other nations. All these other nations, man. Okay. And even and you two thirds is about to go in the in the fucking captivity as well, man. You two third Esau, you about to go into two third um you about to go into captivity under Esau Edom, man. It's about to be martial law that's about to break out loose. Okay? A siege is taking place, man, and, and you don't even know it. Right? Jeremiah chapter 30 and 16, thus saith the Lord, behold, I will bring again the captivity, Salakia, I'm reading the wrong verse, Jeremiah 16 and 16, therefore all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thy adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity, and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey, that's judgment and justice. You prayed upon us, you're going to become a prey. You spoiled us, you're going to become spoiled. You led us into captivity, you're going to be led into captivity. You're going to be devoured. And the Lord is with all of that. Alright? Having that said, you know, that's a good stopping point. Having that said, Lord willing, I was edifying, uplifting, and exhorting. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechachurash. Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior. Rechachurash is the Holy Spirit that speaks through us, that allows us to rightly divide the word of truth and teach the word correctly and directly. The Thumash Nakabah lies the Kumish Rasharala, get up honest to the elders of Israel being the apostles, and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Shalom Wahab La Bachir Sharasharala, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Shalom Achim, your brothers keep on pushing, stay sober, stay diligent, stay faithful, stay prayed up. Salvation draweth nigh, and redemption is near them who believe. Shalom.